Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is currently 5.30 in the morning, as crack of dawn early, but I figured since I wanted to film another video for you guys for today, I figured I'd wake up a little bit early and sit down and do a get ready with me with you guys. Today is day one of training week two. This is the last week I need to be out here in Watertown, so I'm so thankful for that. My husband already messaged me and he's like, come home, and I'm like, I wish I could but it would be dumb of me to not sit here and take in all the information that i could take in to make sure that i do the best job that i can possibly do at my new job because i obviously want to get first impression on them so as much as i'd like to go home and be with my little family back home i do know that being here is for the best especially when it comes to a possible future in banking like i said before in my past videos when i first mentioned this job i've always wanted to work in like an office setting and i don't know i'm just i'm so excited to do that now so so yeah I'm, I'm very excited and honestly even though the classes are very very long the teacher we have is actually very very cool and she makes sitting down and learning about this stuff very interesting sorry guys but do you see that sunrise camera is not giving it any justice guys it is so much more beautiful than what you're seeing in the camera right now I'm the kind of person who loves anything to do with space and the Sun and all the planets so when I see sunrises or sunsets as beautiful as these I have to stop and appreciate it because honestly guys they're some of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in the entire world anyways guys so I wanted to first clarify a few things before we get into the video anymore some people were saying that I really didn't make sense and I missed the entire point of why everyone was mad at Manny and Laura in last night's video when I talked about what had happened. Now like I said, I'm not someone who follows Laura on any social media of any kind, so I had no way of knowing that Laura never planned on having a giveaway. I only assumed that they were both doing a giveaway because Manny had mentioned before this whole Morphe thing had happened that he was already saving up for a giveaway. So I assumed, and it's my fault, I probably shouldn't assume obviously, that they were both going shopping for this giveaway. So that's the reason why I assumed it was a giveaway and I assumed that everyone was mad about the giveaway. So thank you to those of you who corrected me and let me know that I was saying something that was wrong, I guess. And I apologize for not looking further into it before saying anything. Anyways, guys, so to save some time, I'm going to fast forward through my facial makeup application. And I'll meet you guys right back here for the eyeshadow. Is abysmal right now because the Sun is fully up but if I were to have this curtain open you wouldn't be able to tell a motherfucking thing that I'm doing that's mention it's freaking blinding right now so we're gonna go ahead and just deal with the blue lighting I apologize guys I know it probably looks terrible to you guys but uh, I was gonna bring my studio lights but I figured that'd be too much but then again I've seen so many beauty vloggers carry their studio lights with them everywhere and I have traveling cases for them so it's not like I couldn't have brought them but I just didn't think too heavily on that I was just so focused on making sure that I had all the bare necessities that I absolutely needed to have with me because I'm somebody who is completely stupid when it comes to packing and I always without fail every single time will forget something very very important that I absolutely needed because I'm too busy packing other things that I really didn't need at the time so yeah, I wanted to make sure that I brought everything I did need and didn't care too much about the things I probably didn't need to have, but I probably should bring with me, which would have been the studio lighting. So I apologize, guys. All right, so my lids are already primed and ready to go. So I'm going to be using exclusively the Studio Makeup On The Go eyeshadow palette. This palette is the cool down palette. And as you can see, it is all very, very toned down, cool toned eyeshadows. Honestly, I've been using this palette, as you can see, quite a bit. So I'm going to use my Mali blending brush. I'm going to pick up the shade right here in the middle and we're gonna apply that all over the crease area but you have to make sure especially since these eyeshadows are so pigmented like I say in every single one of these videos when it comes to the application of eyeshadow especially the first initial eyeshadow you need to be very very light-handed with application and remember that building up is so much more easier than building product away especially when it comes to the darker tones Guys, I am so interested in seeing what happens with Kendall Ray using that outline of Ariel. Honestly, I just came across it the other day because I saw a picture of her merchandise, which here is the entire line right here. 
And I was like, why does that look so much like Ariel? So of course, me being the person that I am, I went to both Disney Online and Hot Topic and found so many products with that exact same outlined figure on it. And I knew for a fact that it was Ariel because if you just look at it, like any person will look at that outline and be like, oh my God, that's Ariel from Little Mermaid. You know what I mean? It looks exactly like Ariel and you can tell it's Ariel. So how this girl is using that outline for her merchandise is beyond me. All right, so now I'm gonna go into this deep Deep maroon shade up here except this time I'm going to take a more precise brush this one's the wet and wild blending brush and I'm going to pick up a very small amount and build that up into the outside corner and also blending whatever's left on the brush into the crease wiping off the excess powder on the Mally blending brush and we're going to blend everything together so the look is cohesive so yeah, I just, I don't understand how she hasn't gotten in trouble yet, but obviously once one of the bigger, the much bigger drama channels bring it to the light, I'm sure something will happen. But it just, to me, it's like the resemblance is uncanny between those two figures, you know what I mean? Like there's no difference at all between them. The only major difference is the fact that on the Disney t-shirt, I'm pretty sure it's just a black, solid black figure colored in. She has the galaxy colors on the inside of hers, but even still. All right, so now on a clean finger, I'm gonna pick up this shade right here and I'm gonna put that all over the lid. And I still can't get over the fact that this girl just about maybe two months ago now was begging for all this help from her subscribers, but she's now on a vacation or doing whatever the fuck she's doing over in Australia, clear across the fucking world. Like, I just don't get it. I've heard it from a lot of people that she is very, very nasty when you don't agree with what she has to say in her videos or on Twitter. But I just don't understand why people aren't seeing the clear signs. Like this girl is literally showing you and giving you reasons to not trust her, but people are blindly still giving her money each month by donating to her Patreon in order to keep her going on her channel. Like, get, like I just, I... <laughs> I don't understand it guys. Like the signs are there, the red flags are fucking huge. We're gonna go ahead and just apply mascara first and we'll see how that looks. And we can decide later on if we need falsies or if we don't need falsies. All right, so I don't think I want to put on any falsies for today's look. And for the last step, I'm gonna take this Crown Brush Pro C513 pencil brush. I'm gonna take that middle shade we first applied to the crease area and I'm gonna apply that all down the bottom lash line to smoke it out a little bit. Lastly, for inner corner highlight and then brow bone highlight, I'm going to take this shade right here on a flat shadow brush and we're going to pop that right into the inner corner. Highlight today, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in the shade Radiant Lights. And we're going to go ahead and just pop that on the highest points. And then I'm not going to put a lippy on just yet because I have to go downstairs to eat breakfast so I don't want to ruin my lippy. That completes today's Get Ready With Me Chit Chat tutorial, I guess you can call it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. As always with all videos that discuss topics as such as these. As always with videos like these on my channel that discuss topics like these. Leave your opinions down below. Let me know what you guys think about everything. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so, so much. Bye.